Hey guys, I wanted to chat with you a little bit today. Um, it is New Year's Eve. Yay, very exciting. Um, it is New Year's Eve, which means tomorrow is January 1st, 2021. And I don't know about you, but I think a lot of us are just ready to kiss 2020 goodbye. Um, while I'm not ready to condemn the entire year, um, as there is always good, um, there was a lot of just unforeseen, a lot of, a lot of bad, a lot of sad, a lot of uncertainty, um, a lot of turmoil. So it's definitely a year that I think most people are ready to kiss goodbye and welcome the new year with open arms. Um, so that being said, I wanted to reach out to you guys and, and just say that, um, you know, I like to do a couple of things before, before a new year starts. One, um, obviously I like to kind of reflect on the year and think about, you know, things that I accomplished or maybe things that I didn't accomplish that I wanted to, um, and maybe look forward to setting some new goals for my new year. Um, you know, sometimes my goals may have adjusted. Um, perfect example, my husband and I were considering buying land in, um, well, really up until this point, we put an offer in on land, like we were all set ready to buy land and build our house. Um, and we just realized that with like all the other things that we want to do in our personal life, um, in terms of building a family, that buying land um, might not fit in the picture right now because of our budget and where land sits right now in terms of cost. Um, so we're considering buying a fixer upper instead. So overall goal is like, hey, we're still probably going to move out of the house that we're in, um, but our picture just looks a little bit different. And that's okay. Like, that's one of the wonderful things about starting in a new year is that you get to reevaluate, like, what do you truly want to accomplish and, and what do you want to keep in your picture? And what do you want to throw away? What do you want to move away from? What do you want to welcome in? Um, so I just really love New Year's for that reason, because I love setting goals and I love looking future forward. I love, um, you know, moving forward in my life. Um, not that I want to wish my life away, but I certainly do enjoy um, taking all of these next steps. Um, that said, there's also some things that like I had to reflect on personally and, and say, you know, hey, like this can't come with me. If I am going to do this or if I'm going to accomplish this or if we're going to accomplish this, there are just certain limitations um, that I have to let go. And there's, there was a lot of growth for me in 2020. I don't know about you guys, but I spent, um, because we were, you know, on lockdown and at home, I spent a lot of time, um, watching videos, attending conferences online, listening to podcasts. And I got to do a lot of self self growth in 2020, which was really amazing, um, for me in that way. Um, but at the same time, now I kind of know like, all right, I've got to leave some of this other stuff behind and only take the good stuff with me. And um, I feel like there's a lot of people who, if I asked them the question, what limitations do you want to leave behind in 2020? Um, a lot of people would probably start thinking about like their immediate life and what's going on. And they'd say like, well, I want my kids to go back to school. Like, I don't want to do the homeschool anymore because it's limiting my time. Um, or some people might say like, I want to be employed again. You know, I lost my job due to COVID and um, we really need money. So we need to let go of a financial limitation. Um, and some of these things are of course out of your control. Um, but there's a lot of things that we really, we do have control of. And so this is why I feel like I want to talk to you personally about um, why you should consider starting a Young Living business. And I know most people immediately just hit pause on the video and they're like, nope, don't want to listen to you anymore, Jill, thanks so much. Um, <clears throat> but I really think that it's important that I share with you um, some things and some reasons as to why, like I have chosen to invest my time and energy into this. Um, because let's face it, none of us have time 
none of us have energy. None of us, you know, have all of the extras. Um, so why am I sacrificing my precious time and my precious energy and resources into this business? Um, first and foremost, there's no income ceiling. Okay. So when I started, when I decided that young living matched my core values, um, part of that was because of the income structure that they have set up within the business. And there's no, there's no income ceiling. Um, as somebody who works in corporate America, um, I have income ceilings. Like there's just a certain amount of money that I can make for the job that I do. And I, I once worked in HR. So I happen to know that for jobs, like job titles, there always comes what they call a job band. So it's like, um, if I'm a trainer, um, my job band might range anywhere from 45,000 to say $65,000 a year. And if I'm new, you know, if I'm a new trainer or if I'm new to the company, they're going to try to keep me at the lower end of the spectrum because then that allows me room for growth, whether it be through um, annual promotion or annual um, increases, or if I decide, you know, if I get a promotion and go from trainer to trainer two to senior trainer, um, it allows me to stay in that same income band um, based off of the job that I'm doing. And that's great. Like I can earn good money doing that, but there's always a cap. There's always a ceiling unless I decide to change what I'm doing. So if I no longer want to be a trainer or excuse me, if I want to make more money, which at some point in my life, I said I wanted to make more money, I had to give up training. And instead, now I'm managing a team of trainers. And while I love my job, don't get me wrong, I love my job. Um, there, there was that, that sacrifice that I had to make of, um, or that decision that I had to make of, do I want to do something different? And I have met plenty of people in my life who have been perfectly content doing the job that they're doing. They enjoy it. They like the people that they work with. They like the people that they talk to. They feel like they're good at it. But then they're like, but it really sucks because I don't, I can't make any more money. Like this is it. This is what I have until I retire, unless I change my job. So I love that Young Living <clears throat> or network marketing allows folks to reach unlimited potential. Like that is super exciting. Secondly, and this is 100% true. I am not just saying this as a buzz word or a buzz phrase, but the time has never been better. I'm not even kidding. 2020, if it did anything for us, you guys, it awakened our, our senses and it awakened our um, knowledge into health and what it means to be healthy and things that we should be doing to proactively protect our health. And more so than ever, I believe that people are going to want to do it in a natural way, because vaccine or no vaccine, we have seen trauma due to unhealthy lifestyles. And I believe that a natural lifestyle and natural health remedies could have put us in a better situation for what we just faced. I'm not saying that it would have cured anything or that we wouldn't have had a bad year. But I truly believe that we would have been in a better situation. And I think other people are starting to wake up to that and they want a healthy lifestyle. You already have the tools. You've already joined the company and used the products. You are set up to share that with people. And one thing that I've learned through my self-reflection and through like my leadership courses in 2020 is that your time and your knowledge is valuable. Um, you might feel like, oh, I couldn't possibly like sell something to my friends. But if you are truly sharing it out of service to them and out of concern of their health, um, and, and you take the time to explain to them how things work and why things work, there's no reason why you shouldn't be compensated for your time. 
which is exactly what Young Living is going to do for you every time you refer a friend um, to the business. Like that's just what they're going to do because you are helping them to grow their customer base by building a business of your own. Third and, for, and third, not and foremost, third, <clears throat> you get to be your own boss and create your own hours. Now I know everybody who, um, who looks at those of us who do a network marketing business thinks that we spend a ton of time running our businesses. And the truth of the matter is that I don't. Um, I might spend two and a half hours, um, two and a half hours a week um, working on things for my business. Now, obviously there are weeks and there have been months where I have invested more time into doing things, um, but they weren't things that mattered. And I learned that the hard way. So what I did is I created a course so that you guys could follow along and sidestep the mistakes that I made um, to, to run your business. And you can truly do these things in two and a half hours or less across the entire week. You guys, that's like 20 minutes a day. And most of it you can do like from your smartphone, sitting on your couch while you're watching your TV show. So it's like, why not make your money work for you? Um, but you get to you get to decide that, like you're the boss. And if you don't want to invest two and a half hours, let's say you only want to invest 30 minutes, you can still totally do that. It You can still earn an income off of that um, or get your products paid for for free. It's totally doable. Um, with Young Living, this is number four. Um, young living allows you to create a business that is willable. Okay. So um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm in my thirties. So thinking about a will for me right now is like, hmm, okay, great. Like maybe someday, like I don't have anything valuable enough to will, but the idea that I could create an asset that would be worth willing to my children is amazing. And to think that the effort that I put into this could then go to carry on for generations so that my children, my grandchildren would have a starting foundation um, and, and business that they could run and income that they could live off of is, is phenomenal. I mean, it's no different than you know the mom and pop shop who started their hardware store and then eventually they, they hand it over to the, the oldest son and say, here you go, run the family business. Um, so I just think that that's amazing that Young Living gives us that option because not all network marketing companies do. Um, and that's something that truly makes them unique. Um, finally, I think is the fact that once you get going and you have your income stream coming in, you can take time off and you're still going to make money. Um, so like if you decide to go on a two week vacation um, and, and you decide not to answer emails and you decide not to um, post anything on social media, um, you will still get a check at the end of the month. Um, now, when I work for my corporate job, I do get a certain number of vacation days every single year. So I can still take that two week vacation and I can go somewhere. Um, and I'll still get paid, but eventually that runs out, right? Like when you're young, you usually start off with two weeks of vacation. Um, and then with each year of tenure, you might earn three weeks or up to five weeks. Um, I think the most I've ever really heard of is six weeks, um, but you have to work a long time to get that vacation. And so, you know, those, those days run out and you spend the majority of your year working. And it's like, hey, guess what? If you wanted to take a day off or an afternoon off or um, you know, flex your hours, you can totally do that. And I love to use the comparison of you know, a home-based business to homeschooling because that's one of the huge motivations for people to homeschool is that they can do it on their own time and their kids don't have to sit there for eight hours every single day. And if you wanna do it on a weekend so that you can have a Monday to sleep in and just be cuddly in your PJs, like you totally can, you get to make that decision. But I love it because you'll you'll still continue to make money even if you're not 100% present. And there have been so many stories that I have heard and people who I have met 
that's the other cool thing, you guys, like you meet so many amazing people, but there've been people that I have met who have said like, wow, you know, like my, my young living business, it saved me because, you know, I had a parent who was sick and I had to quit my job so that I could go be with them for the last few months of their life. And I could like take care of them and nurse them. But I was able to survive and pay my mortgage because my young living income was still coming in. Um, you know, there are people who have said that um, they had a really, really bad health scare, you know, like they, they had cancer, a child had cancer, a parent had cancer, you know, or um, somebody got into a really bad car accident and then they had to go through months and months of therapy. Point is that Newton's law, you know, says that, you know, an object in motion will stay in motion unless that there is an um, unbelievable force that, that changes it. Well, sometimes life is that unbelievable force and you just get thrown things and all of a sudden you're moving off in a direction that you never even thought that you would be. <coughs> I'm getting really excited here. Um, but when that happens, you have to pivot. And sometimes your job doesn't allow you to pivot the way that you need to. And by working for yourself, by having that business, by having that safety net, you can really allow yourself to, to have that freedom that you're going to need. Um, I can go on and on. I could talk about the financial freedom. I could talk about um, the time freedom that you could be given. But if I'm being honest, that doesn't happen until you're um, a little ways in. What I think is really important, especially for anybody who would never consider doing a young living business, um, is that you can literally change your your day to day life in a month or two, like you can, you can do it. Um, and I certainly know that like my life has been greatly improved based off of the fact that I took a leap and I, I shared these products. So um, that being said, I would invite you guys to consider doing um, something different in 2021. Like if you need 2021 to look different than 2020, I would encourage you to do something different. I would encourage you to prayerfully consider a network marketing business as you're something different. And if you really think that Young Living is, is what um, course or correlates to your core values, um, then I would invite you to look at my course. Um, it's, it's 25 bucks. Um, you will get step-by-step -step instructions. Plus you get invited to a private group where you'll have all the support in the world. You get one-on-one -on -one consulting time with me. Um, so it's well worth your investment. Um, and we work together until you're hitting $2,000 a month. Um, I guarantee that you can do it in six months or less. Um, if it takes you longer than six months because you don't have, you know, the two and a half hours to invest um, each week, that's fine. I will continue to work with you until you hit that $2,000 a month. Um, because $2,000 a month is life changing. Everyone thinks that, you know, life-changing money happens when you're making millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, and while, yeah, that's great. That's super life-changing because you can change other lives. Life-changing for you is an extra thousand dollars a month, an extra $2,000 a month, because that replaces the income that you have right now. And that gives you the time freedom that you need. So something to consider as we move in to the new year. I wish you all a very blessed and a very happy um, New Year's Eve. Please be safe. Um, usually on New Year's Eve, I tell people, you know, be weary of drivers, but I think everybody's going to hunker down tonight, which is good because that means maybe we'll have a really safe New Year's Eve. Um, but I just wish you guys all the blessings um, as you kiss 2020 goodbye and ring in 2021.